What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about four things I'd like Marvel Spider-Man 2 to add long-term. This was actually asked by a follower of mine, Cameron. I appreciate the uh, question, and he actually gave quite a few things, and I'm stealing almost all of them because they're the same things that I want as well. I actually feel the Spider-Man community at large kind of wants a pretty specific list of updates, and we're going to try to nail those in this video. So the first one I want to do is actually what we already know is coming to the game and so the first thing is new game plus and replaying missions and there's a reason that that was asked for so much and not being in the game you know at launch which I I really don't love that uh, I believe it wasn't in the first two either obviously it wasn't in God of War for like the the new game plus thing I will say I'm not a fan of like new game plus being like a later update to games I don't know if that's controversial and it's not just a spider-man issue or an insomniac issue but I feel like New Game Plus across the industry, not all the time, but you know, sometimes here and there, has become like, well, we'll just tack it on, you know, after launch. And it's like, well, no, I, I kind of want a day one, you know, but no big, no biggie, no big deal. But no, there is a reason why so many people want that. New Game Plus, I think, would be awesome. I think there's probably an obvious reason why New Game Plus, uh, even like a story, like a lore reason of why that doesn't necessarily work. We don't technically even have to, I guess, spoil the game if, if we don't want to, but you can kind of think it if you have beaten the game. I think there's a pretty solid lore reason why it's not there, but they still need to do it. And then replaying missions actually for the same thing, right? Uh, you can all think of maybe one in particular mission, you know, in this game that you can say, yeah, I'd like to replay that. Uh, without having to restart the entire game. I, I can at least think of one or two off the top of my head. So that's the first thing. That's And obviously we know it's coming, right? So that's something that they said is going to be coming, I believe, before the end of the year. So we just have to kind of patiently wait on that one. Next up is changing between day and night. Now, I don't know if this is like primarily motivated by photo mode, but even if it is, that's totally valid. I mean, you see some of the uh, artistic things that people are coming up with in terms of photo mode on this game. I think being able to change makes sense and again I mean the reason it's on this list well obviously you can't do it and I, I do I understand this I think beating the game and it's like technically where we're at right now once you beat the game you're locked into it being daytime right and that's it like you cannot do night missions you can't ever see the night again you can't take photos at night none of that stuff unless you replay the game so that is definitely not ideal and I think that's uh, not necessarily like a quality of life thing but that's something I feel would be somewhat easy. I mean, I never want to say parts of game development are easy because I just flat out don't know, but I do think having some switch in the game, you know, a setting to just change it between day and night, I can't imagine that would be all that difficult, okay? So that would be number two. Number three is probably maybe a little bit more difficult, which would be weather. And mainly, actually, I only want to say one thing, rain, right? Now, rain is in this game, again, part of a, a mission, but once that's done, you're done. And you know, like I just said 10 seconds ago, I would imagine this one's a lot harder, uh, just in the sense that you're going to have, with the ray tracing and just all these different things, you know, if it at least is part of a mission, you can limit it and you can kind of design around it almost, whereas if you're asking for just rain in the open world, well, then now you're asking for, you could be swinging anywhere. You could be at the tallest point or just on the street. You could be, uh, you know, underneath a tunnel. You could be gliding on the water and it'd be raining. It's obvious, I would imagine, it's a lot more difficult so to be honest with you this is probably the one that I could see not happening whereas day and night I think that's kind of a given the new game plus and replaying missions that's already confirmed to be coming to the game and then the final thing is suits now I'm not a picky guy I've said this before in terms of at least suits I'm probably picky in my uh, you know average life but look I'm not a big comics fan I don't know too many of the suits I like a lot of the suits that are in this game I love so so many of the suits that were in whether it was Miles or Spider-Man 2018 I'm not asking for literally anything specific I'm just asking for suits every so often whether it's to match uh, you know events in like the MCU or you know whatever if the if it's still ongoing well like the next Spider-Man movie probably is way too late after this game right so you wouldn't necessarily be able to match it but just keep the suits coming and we already know there are suits you know coming I think four of them right at least in the short term I think it's something that they'll probably try to do for the next year probably drop them every so often and you know it's not going to be a game changer I don't think so especially 
honestly, and I've said this actually maybe my review, like suits are actually a little bit disappointing, at least to me in this game. I don't think they're as good as the past games. I'm just not impressed by the looks of maybe half or so of them, but also the you know abilities, like what you get for the suits. They've, they've really brought the suits kind of back where the uniqueness is just in the look. Now, that's still good, and that's still something that you can continue to add suits just to you know swing around the city looking a little bit different, but there's nothing else that really comes with them, which to me signals, well, you can probably do quite a few suits then, right? This is just the visuals of them. Not that it's easy. Again, it takes actually a very long time to make these suits. So let me know what you guys would like added. You may notice I didn't say anything like insane, and it's because I'm trying to keep it realistic. You know, I'm not asking. DLC, I do think DLC is going to happen. But in terms of like, obviously fixing bugs, like, you know, of course they're going to fix bugs. I would imagine over time have a couple patches, but like really random or like extreme things things that they would add to the game there's a reason why I didn't come up with any of those and it's because it's just not realistic so let me know what you guys think make sure you're subscribed to the channel bell icon turned on and I hope to see you all on the next one